Hey golf people, new driver in the bag today, the Cobra LTDX. You've probably heard a little bit of buzz around this driver. We're gonna take it out here on course and see if it can perform as good as some of those reviews out there. Now we know the big hitters on YouTube love this driver, but what about the mere mortals like me and you? We're gonna find out here on course as we battle it out, enjoy. All right, well, these are literally gonna be my first swings with the driver. I actually warmed up on the range with my old Sim 2 just to get a feel and a little consistency into the swing. Now we're gonna see how this feels. And the reason I'm doing that is I wanted to give you my complete first impressions of this thing. My first one launched really low. Club head speed 99, ball speed 143, smash factor 1.44, which was good because I probably hit that a little lower on the face. Still in the middle, but kind of low left middle. Estimated carry 226 there, estimated carry and roll 244. That one's out there. Estimated carry 238, club head speed 101 ball speed 148 smash factor 146 let's see where they ended up now this is a nine degree driver that i have turned up to 10 degrees i was expecting to get a little bit more loft there and i was surprised to see there that it was still kind of a low lofted shot had a nice little tight draw in fact one might be here in the left rough which we'll check out but the trajectory i was hoping to get up a little higher now on this hole it doesn't hurt me in fact probably helps me because the wind's in my face so we'll see how far these things rolled out. But I will say, it seemed to fly off the club face. And that's always a good thing when you're talking about a driver. All right, guys, I'm walking up here into the left rough, and there's our first ball sitting right at 240 for this first swing with the driver, first swing of the day. I will take that. Our second ball was actually a little bit left there, 237 in the pine straw. All right, guys, well, both of those a little bit left of target. We'll see if we can straighten that out here. but. In terms of distance for the first swings of the day, and I'm still not fully loosened up, I like what I saw there. The distance is one thing and accuracy is another. And if we can't hit fairways, of course, that's not a good thing. Now, Cobra touts this driver to be very low spin. And if you know anything about the mechanics of golf, the thing is low spin and consistency or accuracy often is mutually exclusive. But what Cobra's tried to do here using artificial intelligence even, is to actually add thickness to the face. They've added thickness to the face in 15 key spots, which provides more of a trampoline effect and should lead to a little bit straighter ball flight. We'll see if that actually comes into play. Here's hole two here. Let's see what we can do. We're working a big draw, that one definitely hit the fairway. Club head speed 100, ball speed 147, smash factor 1.47, carry at least on this device 236, carry and roll 256. We'll see the actual numbers. I'm going to hit one more ball here. Good size draw to that club though. There we go. That's a better swing there. Better trajectory, better ball flight. Club head speed 99, smash factor 1.45, ball speed 145, estimated carry 230, estimated carry and roll 249. Let's go see where they ended up. Well, gang, I've got to say, pretty impressed with that ball flight right there on those two shots. They both hit the fairway and they were running. So far, only four shots in, everything was drawing. And that's a good thing when I know which direction this club is going to go. I haven't pushed any out to the right yet. In the next test, I'll see if I can actually fade the ball but so far, I like the fact that it does what I think it's going to do. Those draws were a little tighter here on this hole. I like that because I don't want to be snap hooking anything. And the trajectory was definitely a little better. I'll tell you another thing that I liked about those drivers is they hit the ground and they started bouncing and leaping and bounding forward. That's always a good thing. That has to do with the low spin. If you're getting less backspin, you're gonna have a better chance of that ball rolling out a little bit more. Now, you might be wondering about the sound of this driver. The sound of this driver is somewhere in between a thud 
and a ting. <laughs> it's kind of got both. The sound is actually pleasant, I would say. It feels really good at impact. It feels like the ball's compressing. I really like the feel. You kind of know that you've delivered a powerful strike to the ball when you hit this thing. All right, we're coming up over a little hill here and I'm finally seeing the balls. They're actually really close to each other, which is the sign of a good driver when you can be consistent. Check this out. There you go. They're within, I'd say 10 yards of each other. Let's call it eight yards. I'll step it off maybe. Again, in terms of distance, we were into the wind there, but we're in a great spot here at 238. I can't wait to actually have the wind behind my back, but look at that, that's perfect. We are dead center. This one's a little bit further. It was the second drive and I stepped it off. That looked like eight yards to me, 243 is where we're at, again, staring straight down at it. I would take either of those two shots. Now that's the type of consistency that I'd like to see out of a driver. That is really confidence instilling when you know which direction that ball is going to go. Speaking of that, we'll see if we can get the ball to go the other direction. I'm gonna hit a couple fade shots here on the third hole and see if we can work this driver a little bit. All right, we're stepping up to the third hole here. It's a little bit of a dog leg right, so it gives us the perfect opportunity to hit a nice little cut shot. We don't want to overcut it because there's water there on the right, but I'd love to see a nice little fade. Nice, wow, nice high trajectory there. Hugging the right side. Guys, I hit three almost all exactly the same. Each one of them had 95 mile per hour club speed, smash factor between 1.45 and 1.47, ball speed between 137 and 139. And look where these things just ended up. 231, the first one, you can see they all hugged the right-hand side of this fairway. This one's at 237, now 238. And we'll walk up here, again, dead into the wind, fade swing, so not super powerful, 248. Guys, I think what impressed me right there was how consistent those strikes were. Again, all within a six to eight yard dispersion on the fairway if you're going horizontally. That's really incredible. That's what I like to see out of a driver is consistency. Now this is a hole I often don't pull on a driver because it's very narrow up there. We're gonna see if I can hit just a perfectly straight one in the fairway. I'm only gonna take one shot here just to see how confident this driver will make me. Club head speed 94, I was trying to control it there. Smash factor 1.43, ball speed 134. Estimated carry 204, carry and roll 220. I wanted to keep that low because we're still into the wind here. And I wanted to see how straight that could be. That's as straight as I can hit a driver right there. I don't know if you saw it on the shot tracer, but that thing was like an arrow. As I said before, distance is one thing, but knowing where that ball is going to go and being able to trust your club is a totally other thing. And so far I feel right here on the fourth hole already, very confident that I know where this driver is going to go. And if I take a certain type of swing, what's going to happen and be the result? That's as good as it gets when it comes to drivers, because you can always move up a tee box. In fact, many of us should move up a tee box if we're having trouble reaching greens in two or having to hit long irons all the time. Why make it harder on yourself, just move up. But having accuracy and consistency, that's the name of the game. That's how you play good golf. I'll have to see where this one ended up. So right here, it's very narrow. I've got this tree, which I hit a lot. If you ever overcook it, I'm in these bushes. Over here to the right, we've got this bunker right here to the right long if i go long with a driver i'll go into the waste area there's some water down there that's why i often hit three wood here but if i can hit a little bullet like that one i really can't believe where this thing ended up that's the best drive i've ever hit on this whole bar none other than once i hit the cart path and it rolled all the way down but for a legitimate shot this is the best i've ever had here I would take this drive around on this hole, a hole I normally hit a three wood on. If you've ever seen that shot scope data, hitting a longer club, always preferable because you're going to be more accurate and you're gonna score better across the board. They've measured hundreds of thousands, maybe millions of shots now, and that's what the research has borne out. So right here, instead of where I'm normally at, near that tree hitting like a seven or a six iron even, 
this looks really good from here. I've got probably a nine iron in my hand. And this is telling us 235 right here. Again, into the wind as we have been all day, but look at that. Perfect, perfect angle. Being able to trust your driver is so important and I feel like I can do that even after four holes here. I really feel like I can do that with the LTDX. All right, little bonus test here. This is really all about control. This is a par three over water, very thin green. It's not very deep at all. I've got to go over a little ridge just to hit the green. The way this is, it's just a little weird. 189, let's see if we can get there with the driver. I'll tell you what, if that was more than three yards left of the pin, I'll eat my hat. That thing was a bullet right at it. I just didn't control the distance so well. I hit the back of the green and it rolled off. Guys, you're not gonna believe this, but that's the hole and that's my ball mark. I thought it was a few yards difference. How about a few feet, guys? That was three feet difference. <laughs> that's where it landed and it went back here behind the green. Well, talk about a low spinning driver. That thing ran out quite a ways. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> There's where the hole is. But I don't know if you can see it, but it's completely in line with the tee box. <laughs> That's insane, guys. Talk about control. This LTDX is a powerful weapon. I wasn't even gonna do that test, but I'm glad I did because if I wasn't sure before, I'm absolutely sure right now. All right, we got the wind behind us. Let's see if we can hit some bombs now. Now, as I'm going up to my ball here, inevitably I will get the question, how does this compare? How does this compare to the Rad Speed, to the PXG Gen 4 I've been playing, to my old Sim 2, or any of the other drivers that we test here on this channel? And it's a great question. Here's the thing, I've got something really special coming for us in the month of March. I'm calling it March Madness, and we are gonna take not only this Cobra LTDX, but I'm gonna get the top eight drivers of the year and we're gonna battle them head to head in a March Madness tournament style bracket to crown a winner. And that's the reason you should get subscribed to this channel right now if you haven't already, because it's going to be a lot of fun. And I will certainly be answering the question definitively, is the Cobra LTDX the best driver of the year? If there's something else out there that can beat it. Now guys, I got this driver from my friends at playbetter.com and I highly recommend you do too. Not only are they a sponsor of this show and buying your gear from Playbetter helps support this show, but they are probably the nicest guys in the golf industry. They really care about the game. They are passionate fans of this game. They care about their customers and customer service. They're the home of free 48 hour shipping across the continental US, as well as 60 day hassle free money back guarantee, easy returns and exchanges at playbetter.com. So if you're shopping for a Cobra LTDX, that is where you should get it. Okay guys, a couple of bigger drives here. They're a little bit more dispersed, but they're also gonna be a little bit longer. 255. Perfect shot in the fairway. We've got another ball up here on the left, just in the rough. And we've got one over here on the right side of the fairway. This one was hit pretty darn well. I'm walking over to it and it's still counting up. Let's see if we do it. We did it. 272. Again, more dispersed because I was taking a little looser and bigger swing there. But here we go in terms of distance, also 272 on the right side of the fairway. Gotta go up over that tree, unfortunately, but I would take that shot. There you go, guys. Distance wise, these things are as good as anything I've tested this year, that's for sure. I think this definitely has a chance at being the driver of the year. What do you think down below? Have you swung the Cobra LTDX? I would absolutely love to hear your comments and your feedback. And hey guys, if you missed it, I'm gonna leave a video right here where I took another hot 2022 driver out on the course and a video right here 
where I showed you what it was like to take the rad speed out on course last year. We will be comparing these ones as well very soon. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you back here very soon on another edition of Let's Play Through.